What was that? I didn't hear what you said. Well, that's good. I have a bit of a sore throat, but I'm generally doing okay. Right, well, other than the fact Tylenol is completely useless. No, it's not. Just completely useless. Oxygen drunk chanting lament. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about it because. Migraines that I think I have. Also, ibuprofen works also, and Tylenol is as well. Yeah, Damn. it's just it's garbage. Carb Dipro Tylenol is just bo bo poison that people have been taking for years for no good reason. Oh, it, it, it. Right. I'm going to do a reading here. On a piece of paper. Foxy and drum chanting lament of the six follies. Amidst the cosmos's glittering stars, there lie a perspective, a prosperous realm, the old verdant home, this land where lush and the seasons fair, and scenes beyond the mortal ken and ordinary flare. Unexpected war struck with conqueror's greed, the boorish storm rolled over the verdant home greatly. Oceans of blood flew where bare keen barbarians went. Boxians wallowed and wailed, their homes burned and rent. Our people lamented midst bitter winds chill as they looked on their homes, tears covering the heel. Suppressing their sighs, they mourned for this change, bespeeching the gods to stop their boorish rampage. The Foxians hid from the world fleeing from war, and among them six brothers, wandering from day till nightfall. But the cold and starved in the end, they fell sick, twisted their fates, and fortunes catastrophic. Overcome by anguish, they fell to their knees, wailing out lamentations that shook the mountain. Their weeping echoes soared up to the skies, a celestial descended, eating their cries. The brothers asked the Celestial's name, and so the Master with their staff did complain, proclaim. The Master of Immortality I am, they asked. Why, O oh six, do you whimper and cry? Eldest brother cried, for he feared the boorish sharp blades, how their weapons could pierce and slaughter with rage. Second brother sobbed due to the pain of disease, illness de deep-rooted, pain none could ease. Third brother lamented out of cowardice and fear, driven near witless by the two savage curs. Fourth brother, weak and powerless, was born, unable to run with hope, all hope forlorn. Fifth brother witnessed the slaughter of family and friends, the living and slave, his heart torn a rent. The sixth brother longed for peace to descend, that the war might conclude and all hatred spread. Master of Immortality, with compassionate gaze, heard out the six brothers as they laid on their pains. Brothers' cries ceaseless till concern vented, bespeeching the master for miracles granted. To dread the blade, the brute, nor, nor disease. To dread not the blade, the brute, nor disease. To fear not the thief, the invader, or fiend. The past veils and crags as if twere flat plain. To finally no peace, reft of anxiety or pain. To eldest brother, regeneration was granted. To second brother, to be free of disease, was enchanted. Third brother, gifted endless courage, confidence unmatched. Fourth brother, wings grew on his back to lift him far away from the threat of attack. Fifth brother, freed from all concern, 
tears, all anguish, all grief, and mortal woe. Six brother only for reasons unknown. No power was gifted, no revelation shown. Having bestowed many gifts of power and skill, the master then left, and their wake all was still, leaving five brothers whose all who all blessings had gained and a six with no obvious gift to his name. Yet the master did not forget the sixth reward, for in time all would know he had not been ignored. As the boorish army attacked the Foxian hills, and the five brothers unveiled divine power and skills, using miraculous powers they drove back the foe, the great martial heroes bringing boorish great woe. For their crushing victories, legends the brothers became, as the dogs ceased their attacks, fearing even them. But one day fate turned, with no forewarning given. In the blink of an eye, hope was killed, a plague risen. Eldest brother's wounds festered, rotting within. Second brother, free of ill health, spread disease to his kin. Third brother's mind, twisted and poisoned with hate. Fourth brother's body, or covered with feathers like leaves, come Fifth brother, all consciousness lost, sat immobile as stone. But the sixth was untouched, for no reason known. Alone the sixth brother raided the boorish bands, all elder brothers lost to the plague author's hands. With no hope of salvation and no gift of grace, the powerless brother only sought death's embrace. The boorish war... Mother smiled slyly at the six brothers' words, then waved and called his personal guard. The six brother was untied, made to sit among their erstwhile foes, as the war mother in plain speech explained to his woe. Granted the merciful one's blessings were your brothers like we, champions of the masters of immortality. In savage nature and cunning, and even in form, you are like us, as a mirror informs. Shocked to his core in the world's words revelation, he looked into the glass with much hesitation. The face that looked back was cruelly visited, twisted, blessed with canine ears and a snout that the master had gifted. Lamentable, oh, how lamentable, for this is how. The six gains miracles against their wishes, living dreamlike, away from calamity and strife. Obtained the merciful one's immortality by chance, needing only to be possessed by the plague and losing much worse than a life. Do not dream of peace with abominations of, abomin of abundance. Do not harbor any delusion of possible coexistence. Only when the sky bow has eliminated all demons and monsters shall we ever see the arrival.